I've never used body oil before, but this has me hooked. Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. It's another roundup of my current favorites and I feel like I definitely have a lot this time because I've been trying out so many new products, tools, clothing, all of that stuff. I'm sure you guys have noticed. There's been a lot of review videos up on my channel lately. So I've definitely welcomed in quite a few new favorites to my collection. But before we get into all of those things, I just want to welcome anyone who's new to my channel. My name is Sarah. I create content on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I would love it if you'd subscribe, hit that notification bell, and for everyone watching, please make sure to like this video video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what some of your current favorite things are. But like I said, I do have a lot of favorites. So let's go ahead and dig into them. Starting out with a viral TikTok hair favorite that I'm sure you guys have seen on your For You page. I recently got the Unbrush and let me tell you, it was a journey to get this brush. I tried to order it off of Amazon and the delivery date kept getting pushed more and more back until I finally just canceled the order because this brush is selling so fast. So I was finally able to get it directly from Unbrush and I am never going back. I wanna get another one of these these brushes totally live up to the hype of what everyone is saying on TikTok. They really do very gently brush through your hair. There's less breakage. My hair feels stronger. I've probably been using this brush, I think for about three weeks or so now, and my hair feels so good. It feels so full. And it also feels like it's getting tangled less. So I really am just like obsessed with this brush. I'm so glad that I got it. I'm so glad that like I listened to all the TikToks and everything because it's absolutely true to what everyone is saying. And you can use this on both wet and dry hair. I've I've used it on both. It works just as gentle either way. It's very, very easy to clean out. And also when I dry my hair with this brush, my hair dries so fast because it's vented. It lets so much air come through as you're brushing through your hair. So as you're blow drying, it just like is separating the hair and it's letting the air get through to the hair a lot better. So it really just cuts down the drying time in half, which is so nice because I hate blow drying my hair. I hate doing my hair in general. So anything that makes it quicker and also improves my hair is definitely a plus. As you guys can see, my hair is getting very long and it was getting so tangled and ratty whenever I was using my old brush but now with this brush I feel like it looks so much better and it's a lot stronger then the next favorite I have is a hat I just got this in but I cannot stop wearing this especially on days where like I haven't like washed my hair or anything I just want to throw a hat on and it's this caviar cowboy hat from 1111 I have been loving this hat for so long I think it was Peyton Sarden who I saw wearing it originally and I was just like oh my god I need that hat I love the white with the cream I think that's a really great color combo but it says you have great taste and then on the side it says 1111 and it's just such a good hat in general like it looks good on I like the fact that it's a little bit of a wider brim and like a little bit of a wider shape through the top I just think it looks really really good and it's like the perfect hat for when you just like want to have that like effortless look of like oh I just threw a cap on today but you still look like a cute girl on the go so this has been my go-to for dirty hair days if I just like need to run out and run errands and my hair is looking all crazy I'll throw this hat on and I just like immediately feel so cute then next I have a skincare tool this is the PMD Wave Pro. This is a three-in-one facial wand and this one extracts, infuses, and then lifts the face. So on the first setting, which is just this one. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. I can't turn this on because Leo can hear the frequency and it makes him go crazy. Sorry about that, bud. But the first setting extracts so it gets everything out of your pores and you do that with clean skin. Then after you apply your skincare, I usually do it when I apply serums. You use the infuse setting, which is setting number two, and it'll make your skincare sink deeper into your skin so that it can be more effective and you get more of those benefits from your skincare. And then for me personally, I wait until after I moisturize to use the last setting, which is lift. Basically, it's like a little exercise for your facial muscles, kind of like the way Way a new face works but this is much faster you just go over everything I usually do just like 10 strokes per area and you can actually use settings two and three every single day so I really love incorporating this into my skincare I feel like it just takes it up a notch and I love the fact that you can do the lift every day so that over time you really get those benefits of like a more lifted firmer face and as I was filming I was realizing the ends of my hair are a little dry it's been a couple days since I washed it so I figured I'd grab this and add it to the video this is the verb ghost oil I'm sure you guys have heard about this people rave about it all the time and I finally caught it and I love this it makes my hair so soft and sleek and just like so shiny I love it it's really really lightweight I usually just do a little drop and I have a lot of hair and a little drop goes a long ways so I always concentrate it on the ends first then kind of work it up into like the middle of my hair then whatever is left over on my hands I just kind of smooth out the top of my hair because obviously you don't want to put oil up here it's gonna make your roots look greasy and then just brush through 
and again my hair is just like so soft and so much sleeker I absolutely love this oil like I said I think my favorite thing about it is just like how lightweight it is because there's a lot of hair oils out there that kind of like give you a more sleek shiny effect but they feel so heavy on your hair or it's really easy to go overboard with them but this one is so lightweight that I feel like you don't get that as much then let's just go ahead and close out the hair tools because why not? The last hair tool that I want to mention to you guys, I just did a review on this. I won't talk about it too much, but it is the Kalista Faux Blow Thermal Hair Brush. This was going around on TikTok as a dupe for the Amika Thermal Brush because for a long time, that brush is really, really hard to get your hands on. But you can get this one from Kalista directly or from Amazon. I got mine from Amazon. It comes in three different colors and it literally gives you the best faux blowout ever. I'm talking like 15 minutes or less. Usually I can get it done in 10 minutes or less and I'm sure like the more I practice with it, the faster I'll get. But literally my hair after I use this, I feel like I just had that like bombshell hair, like that big bouncy Victoria's Secret hair. It's so good. Like this brush is amazing. This is how I want to style my hair always. We're having like a chill weekend, so that's why I didn't really style my hair. I just kind of like slept on it in a bun. But if we were going anywhere, my hair would be styled with this because this is absolutely my new obsession. Then I wanted to mention a couple of body products. Osea recently sent me this Andaria Collagen Body Lotion and body oil set and I oh my god I love this so much the smell on this lotion it's like this like bright fun citrusy scent it smells so so good like seriously go to your local Ulta and smell this it is oh my god the smell on this is incredible. But this body lotion is super, super lightweight, yet still makes my skin feel super soft without feeling too heavy on it. And then I follow up with this body oil. And you guys, I have never used body oil before, but this has me hooked. I love this. It just kind of like locks all the moisture and hydration into my skin. And especially for days where I've been out at the beach all day, I've been out in the sun, all of that stuff, and my skin's feeling a little rough and a little dry. This combination really rescues my skin and just feels so good to apply. Then next is a favorite for all of the neurotic dog moms out there. I have gotten crazy into like doing anything I can to keep Leo safe. So I started looking into safety measures for whenever he's riding in the car and because I have a tiny little Civic, I cannot fit a crash proof crate in my car. There's just like absolutely no way. So I started looking into dog harnesses and I settled on this one from Sleepy Pod. This is the Click It Sport Harness and you guys, this harness is the absolute best. First off, a lot of dog harnesses that are marketed for the car are not actually crash tested or they're not crash tested by an actual like safety organization but the sleepy pod ones are and they rank really really high in those ratings and the sleepy pod click it harnesses are one of the few dog car harnesses that are actually endorsed by the center for pet safety so when it came to actually purchasing a car harness for me I knew right away which one I wanted to get I had just been trying to decide between the sport or I think the other one is the terrain both of those have the exact same rating they're both made by the same company I went with the sport just because Leo is a double coat breed and we do live in a warmer climate so I wanted as little covering him as possible so this one just has like this front breastplate part and then the back is like pretty much open and basically what you do is you just click it around them and this is like the actual I think they call it a like pet passenger restraint system so when they're wearing it their back is through here and then you string the seat belt between these straps and their back and it holds them in place now in order to do it for them to be able to sit comfortably and be able to both sit up and lie down because he can actually move around pretty freely with this you do need to get the s clip it holds the seat buckle in place so that it stays out further instead of like constantly trying to pull back on them but mine somehow permanently got lodged into my car so I'll have a photo of it on the screen once you do that and put this on them they're so comfortable they're able to like ride comfortably now that he's like actually strapped into the car I actually let him have the whole entire window down and he hangs his head out and just like has the time of his life because I don't have to worry about him jumping out of the car so if you've been interested in getting any type of like car safety equipment for your dog I highly recommend this one it is a little bit on the pricier side but again there is reason for that with the fact that it has been crash tested it's certified all of that stuff you really are getting what you pay for with this one then my next favorite is another review video that I did recently and it is the gather all bra you guys I have been on the hunt for like a strapless backless bra solution I'm typically someone who's pretty comfortable just going braless I really don't mind it but every once in a while depending on the top or you know if we're going to an event I would like to have a little bit of lift and I saw Delaney Childs post about this bra and I immediately purchased it it is a silicone bra it just sticks onto you and the name gather all is very fitting it literally 
gathers your girls together and makes them look so good. Like the first time I put this on underneath clothing, I was just blown away. I couldn't believe how good my boobs looked. But yeah, I absolutely love this. I love the fact that it's backless and it's very, very comfortable. So if you've been looking for like a backless strapless bra that actually makes your boobs look really, really good, definitely check this one out, especially if you're going to like a wedding or something like that and you like have a dress that's like very revealing, you don't know what bra you're gonna wear, try this one because I promise you, you're gonna absolutely love it. Then next up was something else that I had been on the hunt for and it was for the perfect denim jacket. And I know I've talked about this denim jacket a lot on this channel, but I really, really love it. I cannot advocate for it enough. And it's this Levi's denim jacket. I got this from Amazon. And I think why I really love it is because of the fact that it is such great quality. Like it's super, super good quality. It's the perfect fit, but it was like, $25 like it was such a good deal I got true to size because I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit more fitted but it's not like completely fitted it's like a relaxed fitted again it's just the absolute perfect fit there's like a lot of times with more fitted denim jackets where it feels kind of like you're restricted because obviously like straight denim it's not stretchy at all it's gonna be a little bit stiffer but this one is cut so well that you feel comfortable but you still look pretty streamlined and put together it's not slouchy or anything Thing like that which don't get me wrong I do love an oversized slouchy denim jacket but I already have one and I never had the option to have something a little bit more tailored until I got this and yeah it just fits the bill it's so good I wear this with so many outfits and it's just definitely become such an important staple in my wardrobe then the last favorite is a fitness favorite I recently started taking Pilates reformers classes which actually is technically a favorite as well I really really love my reformer Pilates classes it's just such a fun way to challenge my body and I love the studio that I go to every instructor I've taken has been like so wonderful there's two main ones that I take but every once in a while we'll get a sub or I'll pop into like a different time of the day and every instructor there is always like so helpful they put on a great workout and stuff and yeah it's just been such a fun way to challenge my body I love the fact that it's low impact and and it's also kind of fun to like see the many things that you can do on a reformer. I'm obsessed. I think I'm officially a Pilates girl. But to most of my Pilates classes, I've been wearing this workout romper. And oh my god. This is my favorite workout romper that I have ever worn in my life. This one is in this like fun bright blue. But I also have it in kind of like a brick reddish color. And I definitely want to get more colors. But this is the perfect workout romper. First off, it is super supportive. This one was my first one and I got it true to size. But I would suggest actually sizing down in these. Which is always like so nice to get to size down but one of the things I really love on this is that the tummy control it actually goes all the way down to your lower belly there's a lot of times that a lot of tummy control panels just kind of like stop at your waist and I feel like for me and my body type that's just such an unflattering spot for tummy control to cut off so I love the fact that it continues all the way down to the bottom and then the thing that I love the most about this is that it has an open back I am obsessed with anything that has an open back and this one is like super open it goes like all the way down and so Somehow it's still pretty supportive. Now, I wouldn't use this to go running or do HIIT training or CrossFit or anything like that, but for something a little bit more low impact like yoga, Pilates, that kind of stuff, this is the perfect workout outfit. All right, you guys, well, that is gonna be it for my favorites. That is everything that I've been loving and I even edited it down. I didn't want this video to be too long, but this is the cream of the crop of everything that I have been obsessed with that I've discovered in the last few months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment down below and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new here so that you can join my little YouTube family. But I love you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. I will see you very soon again in the next video. Bye.